it's Karina. And in this video, I want to show you how simple it is to make a really healthy homemade soup. Now this recipe is based on a liver cleansing soup recipe that's included in my Global Healing Center liver cleanse that I'm doing right now. Um, but this is also a wonderful soup to help boost your immune system because we have beets, all right? Beets are one of our sweet root vegetables that is actually gonna help to balance our blood sugar. So if you're someone with lots of sugar cravings, it's a good idea to start incorporating things like beets and carrots into your diet. And eating more of these foods on a regular basis can actually help to cut your sugar cravings. You can make this soup in a regular pot on the stove if you want to, but I love using a crock pot because it's just so simple. So I've already cut up my veggies here. Let's take a quick look at our ingredients. So here I have some broccoli. Already washed it and cut it up. Here are my beets. And I do like to kind of um, cut the skin off of the beets. Sometimes it can be a little tough if you're not used to it, um, but at the same time, if you're using organic beets, then leaving the skin on is also not usually very problematic, but um, I did take the skin off of mine there. Here are my lovely carrots, and here are my onions. Onions are so good. I actually really don't like raw onions at all, but once they get cooked up into a soup or something and they become all sweet and translucent, oh my gosh, I just love them. All right, our next ingredient is garlic, and I've actually already chopped up my garlic here. Um, but I did want to just show you, and I'll show you in a minute, how easy it is um, to peel uh, your fresh garlic. Then we have our spices. So in this soup, I'm going to be using turmeric, which is wonderful for the liver. It's also great for the immune system, very anti-inflammatory. So many health benefits from turmeric. Also have my Himalayan pink sea salt and some oregano. The only other ingredient we'll be using is some lemon. And you could use just the lemon juice if you want. I'm gonna use a fresh lemon, so I think that's always best. Now let's go ahead and get started. So I love using fresh garlic because this is the best way to really get all of the health benefits that it contains. Uh, once you get it to this point, you can speed up the process by using the side of your knife, just kind of chopping it there, and then cutting off this little uh, very end piece. And once you've done this, all of the peel just slides right off. And it's just so easy. You can stand there for a long time actually peeling it by hand. It's kind of a pain. Uh, but I love this little trick. Also, smashing the garlic helps to make the nutrients inside of it more bioavailable or easy for your body to digest. So that's a wonderful little trick for raw garlic. So the only thing I didn't mention in our recipe section is that you'll also need some filtered water, of course, for your soup. So at this point, um, again, what I love about the crock pot is it couldn't be any more simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding in my ingredients here. Now I'm kind of doubling up their recipe that they gave, so I'm not quite sure if all of these things are gonna fit. So I'm just gonna put in we just use about half the carrots. And like I said, I freaking love onions. Once they get all soft and cooked up, they're just so freaking good. Alrighty, so all my ingredients are in. I'm gonna dump in the garlic. Now their recipe called for 10 cloves of garlic, um, which is a lot. And I'm doubling the recipe, but I'm not going to use 20 cloves. I've still got about 10 cloves here. They were pretty big cloves of garlic, though, so I think that's going to still be pretty garlicky. And then I am just going to kind of start moving some of this around. 
You could also put it in the crock pot in layers if you want to, but whatever. All right, then I'm gonna add my salt. Now, when I end up eating my soup later on, I sit there and I actually just keep my salt with me. I pretty much do that at all my meals um, because I like to go light on the salt when I'm preparing the food and then just add as much salt as I need when I'm eating it uh, to make it um, you know, my desired taste. So I'm gonna go a little low on the salt here knowing that I can always add in more later. I'm adding in approximately um, I don't know, probably two teaspoons of salt there. Then with my, whoo, then my turmeric. Well, now I've been eating these kind of healthy foods for a long time, so I love these flavors. I love garlic, I love onions, I love turmeric. Um, but if you are making this soup for the first time and you want to maybe go a little easier on the turmeric or a little easier on the garlic, that's certainly understandable. Um, you can always add in more later. You can always change your recipe and modify it the next time you make the soup. So man, could that have been any easier? Our next step is just to add water. And I'm basically just adding until I've covered my vegetables. There we go. And I still have some room in the top of my crock pot here. So I'm going to add in a couple more of these broccolis, a couple more of these carrots. going to be ballsy and add in the rest of the onions too. Why not? All right, so I am going to add some more water here. I don't want to go all the way up to the top of the crock pot, but pretty darn close. And then my lemon. I showed in one of the um, other videos that I made today, but I'll go ahead and show it again. Um, you can, of course, squeeze your lemon into a bowl and then take the seeds out with a spoon or a fork or something. Um, but my hands are already covered in food anyway, so I'm just going to use my fingers to catch those lemon seeds as I squeeze the lemon in. Um, and these little bits of fibrous lemon stuff, I'm going to throw that in there too. That's great. Great. All righty. Got a lemon seed in there. Cool. So that is about it. I'm going to put on the lid. Um, I'm going to start it on low. Um... But, you know, if you're going to leave your crock pot running while you leave the house or something like that, definitely think it's good to leave it on low. Um, but right before I eat the soup, I want to heat it up really well so it's nice and hot. I'll put it over to high. Um, but what I love about cooking in a crock pot is you just throw it all in there and then leave it and come back in an hour or two hours um, and your food is ready and wonderful. So there you have it. <laughs> really super simple, healthy soup recipe. One thing I didn't mention that I did want to mention um, is that beets take longer to cook uh, than your carrots and broccoli. So you want to cut them up into a little bit smaller pieces uh, than your carrots and your broccoli so that when uh, you go to eat your soup, everything is, is cooked roughly evenly. If you'd like to learn more about me and my health coaching practice, you can visit me at KarinaRachel.com. I do hope that you'll subscribe to the Psyche Truth channel so you can come back and join me for more videos on health, weight loss, nutrition, healthy cooking. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.